Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with the AP Calculus 2007 free response question, so let's take a look. The amount of water in a storage tank in gallons is modeled by a continuous function of the time interval 0 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 7, which t is measured in hours. And this model rates are given as follows. The rate at which water enters the tank is this, gallons per hour. The rate at which water leaves the tank is this. The graphs of f and g intersect at this time and this time as shown in the figure above. And at time t equals 0, the amount of water in the tank is 5,000 gallons. Okay, so this function, this is f, this is uh, entering, and this one is g of t here. And that's when it's how much is leaving. How many gallons of water enter the tank during the time from 10, 0 to 7? So that we're just integrating over f of t, because that's how much water is entering. How many gallons of water enter the tank? It would be the integral from 0 to 7 of f of t dt. And f of t is given by this. So math 9, um, integral of 100 times x squared times sine of x. And here we want to double check that we are in oops, radians. We are in radians uh, whenever using any trig function. Oh, it's not x, it's square root of x. Um, from over x from 0 to 7. That equals to 8263.8. Oh, nearest gallon is what they asked for 8264 gallons. So that's part A. Um, for part B, find the time intervals during which the amount of water in the tank is decreasing. Give a reason for each answer. So the amount of water is decreasing whenever. Is decreasing when g of t is greater than f of t. Okay? Because when g of t is greater than f of t, then that means like whatever is leaving is more than whatever is entering, right? So when is g of t greater than? It's between, so that's between 0 and this time, which they tell you is uh, 1.1617. And also, um, then, it incre then it increases, so f is bigger until this point. So from, yeah, from 3 to this point here, which is 5.067. Okay, so that's when it's... Uh, decreasing for 0 to 7 at what time t is the amount of water in the tank the greatest to the nearest gallon compute the amount of what this time okay so for C I'm gonna do this up here we have to check any local extrema um, as well as any um, as the endpoints so I, I like, like my checkpoints are well so let's find the local extreme any local values local value so remember the volume is the integral of f of t minus g of t dt right it's like um, 0 to x or something like that right plus 5,000 this is sort of the uh, this, this this is sort of the integral that would describe the volume as a function of the time x. Okay, so when it's maximum is when v prime of x, at least for local maximum, relative maximum, is when zero or undefined. The derivative of this is just simply f of t minus g of t is equal to zero or undefined. But the function is, undef is it defined the whole time, so there's not really an undefined. Maybe this point right at this here, but that's not a big deal. Uh, when is it equal to 0? So we have this point and this point. So we have t is equal to 1.617 and t is equal to 5.076. Now, the thing is, is 
we can use our first derivative test to sort of tell us which one is, um, see, this is going to be a sort of a minimum because here we're evacuating more than we're gaining in volume, than we're adding. So at this point, we've drained as much as possible. Now we're increasing. So this is a minimum. Here's a maximum because, actually, do we need to consider at this point? We should probably consider t equals 3 also because it is undefined here. So at this point, we were gaining water. And then now that we switch to time 3, now we're losing water again, right? Because we're draining faster than we're accumulating. So t equals 3 is a relative max. So, so, this, is, so this is a relative min. This is a relative max. OK, right at this point. And then now we're decreasing again. This is a relative min again. So we're not looking at this point because this is a relative min. Does that make sense? Because because from between this time and t this time period, we were um, you know we were um, losing water, so it can't be a maximum. That's going to be a minimum. Then you don't want to just use this point. You actually want to check the endpoints seven and zero. Okay, As we know that the volume at zero, the time t equals zero, was five thousand. The volume at three is equal to the integral from zero to three of uh, f of t, which is this function, minus g of t. But during this time interval, g of t is just, um, oh, actually not, uh, yeah, uh, minus g of t, which is um, 250 dt. Okay, so let's use our calculator to compute that integral. I'm going to clear math 9. Um, at 100 x squared sine square root of x um, minus 250 integrate x from negative 3 to positive 3. No, well, how much I think of the previous problem. Um, integrate from 0 to 3. And I want to add 5,000 to it. Okay, so this is 5126.59. Okay, so this is good. That's the amount of volume there. Then I actually want to do, oh, actually, yeah, I want to do the three. Now I want to look at, um, you know, I, I'm going to check seven, V of seven, even though I think it'll be less because. Um, I think you accumulate more than when you drop because from this point on, you're gonna like lose a lot more water than you're gonna gain up here. So, but it's it's good to just check it, um, and they may want you to check it. So we're gonna add this value. We're gonna add the integral, um, same integral except now that the g g will increase. So we'll do 100 x squared sine square root of x minus 22,000. And then we want to integrate over x from 3, because I've already, I've already calculated the volume up to 3, so I need to add the rate, the, the, the change in volume from 3 to 7. And so V of 7 is 4513.8. So this is the maximum right here. Uh, what time? The time is 3. And the nearest gallon, so T equals 3, the nearest gallon would be 5127 gallons. Okay. Let's take a look at what the solutions look like for this one. 8264 is part A. Part B is 0 to 1.673 to 5.067. Good. Um, since so J is the absolute maximum, our, the candidates are 0, 3, and 7. And that's we did we did the calculations. 0 is 5,000. 3 is 5, 1 there. And there, the amount of water is greater than 3 hours. At that time, the amount of tank rounded in the nearest gallon is 5,127. So hope you guys found that helpful. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.